Hello everyone and welcome to Phoenix Reborn. So today we've got a couple of things to work on and I've been busy as well so why don't I show what I've been up to first before we carry on. So you may notice that I've placed some elevator blocks in here just to make things quicker getting up and upstairs and downstairs. So let's see. So yeah, that works fine. But I've got it upstairs as well now, so let we pop upstairs and show you what I've been up to. As you can see, I've cleared away half this hill, and I'm in the process of developing this top level by here. So let me just jump down here a second. Let's get over here. So. I'm going to add the top level here and what I want to do is move a lot of this mana production upstairs because I'm going to make a room for mana or Batania and I want to get into RF tools sometime in the future. Now RF tools you can make different dimensions so I want to I might want to go into different dimensions soon. So I'll probably move a lot of this up here. So I've got a little bit of space in front here. And I'm going to have some Batania stuff going on over there. And what else we got? Uh, oh yeah, we want the... We want to make a mana battery area as well. So I'm going to set that up. And I've got a bit of space over here, so let's go over here. So that's going to be the, where the floor is, and underneath this we're going to have all sorts of things going on at, underneath. And it comes back here, and I've fixed all the grounds so everything looks a bit nicer. So we get a better view if I went over here and get a better idea of what's going on. Let's jump up here now. There you go, you get a better, better view from here. And it's starting to look really nice actually. And what I want to do is, I don't know whether we're going to keep this mountain up. Probably get rid of it eventually. I'm thinking I should have moved my base to uh, a more open area really. But I'm going to need all this iron anyway. And we'll probably just do that gradually over a couple of episodes. Okay, so I'm going to grab some materials now and I'm going to start making this top level here and I'll be back in a few moments once I made a good start on the floor for this level. Well, as you can see, I've made some progress on the next floor now and over time we're going to add in the different machines for RF tools. Probably not going to do much of that today, but we'll go. F we'll just quickly talk about it anyway. So I've got all loads of different machines to set up in this area, and they all require quite a few items, really, like enderpearls, redstone, all sorts of uh, resources. So I'm going to have a look at that over time because I need to do a bit of research on it first. However, that's looking a lot nicer now, so uh, next up, I need to sort out my sorting system by upgrading it with AE2, like I mentioned last episode. So let's have a look at how I'm going to do that now. So let me get back inside first. Okay, so I need to upgrade this sorting system with some AE2 stuff now. Some parts we can make now, but it gets a little bit complicated towards other bits. Now, I've already gone up and set up some of this. So here I've already set up some inscribers with everything I need. Uh, around the back, I've gone and set up a few items here. Now, i got the pipes all set up so I can power those inscribers. And what we want to do is we want to get some storage buses on the back of these Jabba barrels 
as that's how we're going to do it. And over on the input chest, we placed a import bus. So all that stuff is going to get imported into all these areas over here. Now, there's quite a few of these relocators here, so I've got to remove all them and replace them with gas cables. And of course, I've got to make I have a lot of storage buses as well. Now, to make the storage buses is the awkward part as any eyes a bit fluffed up. So I'll show you what I mean now. So if we we gotta make some cores. Now the annihilation cores come up straight in the NEI. I'll just show you what I mean now. So if I go to any eye, you'll notice that it's cycling between a nether quartz and a pure nether quartz crystal. Now if I go over to formation core it's doing the same except instead it says nether quartz and a certus quartz and if you auto craft that in the NEI it's not going to work so you've got to make sure it's on the certus quartz now we can't get certus quartz right now so we've got to work out a way of doing it and the way you've got to do it is to grow it so let me have a look in the NEI again so we've got to make some, let me just call up the mod list. So what we've got to make is some crystal growth accelerators. As this is the only way you can do it. And to make that is like this. And the good thing is we've got some flex blocks in the transmutation tables. So let me grab some of them. So scrub I do 64, so that's a good good about a number. And there's our flex blocks. Let's grab them. And we only need I think we need about four of these. So iron and some quartz glass. So I need quartz glass, do I? So a certus dust. So we can use normal certus by the looks of it. So let me grab some glass. Now I gotta find a place to put this as well, which is gonna be we got sixty-four? Yeah we did get sixty-four. Now I'm not sure if that one will work with it. So I have to wait and see what happens there. Let's grab 64 of them as well. Uh, what else do we need? Keeps moving. And iron. Let's grab some iron. Right. Uh, all we need now is some quartz dust. Oh, I had, didn't mince them up. So I'm going to make this recipe and then we'll go and find a position to put it. Right, now how are we going to wire this up? Yeah, that's going to be a problem. We've got all these pipes in the way a second. So if I move them down a little bit. So let's get rid of a few of these blocks a second. So what I want to do is move them down. Yeah, let's make some room and let's go and grab these water pipes. I think that'll be enough. And one more. Right, let's rewire them. Okay, one more. Right, all I could do now is just click on that, get it connected. Okay, and of course that one as well. There we go, that's that's working fine. Now, now let's set this up. So I want to put it right in the middle here. Let's see, you want to free... Yeah, it looks like a good spot. Let's put it right by here. So we've got room in the back now to put the other one. And I want to put them... Downwards, I think. Let's have a look here now if I can do it. 
I don't think that's going to affect anything. No, that's fine. Let's do it down there. Yeah, should be fine, and we'll just need to empty that one out there. Right, that's all them cleared. Now, if we just put a temporary one down for now. Oops, let's grab that back. I think I'm laying this out right, as they've got to be in a square formation like this. Right, there we go, that'll do. Now, underneath I'm going to have to set up some of the pipes as well, so let's just do that now. I think they're connecting. Let's see now if I want to put one... Let's jump down a minute. Let's wire all these up. And one more by here. Yeah, that's it. Right, let's connect those up. Right, there we go. That's better. Now all you need to do is get this connected into the other one upstairs. So let's quickly run up there a minute. Okay, all we got to do now is finish off laying this up. So we've got to get some of these pipes up here. So let me get one of these guys Right, but there, no, that's the wrong position actually. We need to find the best position for this. And of course, the water pipes have to be in the way, of course. So let's, let's give it that block by there. I think that'll be the perfect one, because there'll be a wall by here. I might move this around later on, but for now, this will do. Go up there, and let's just connect that straight into there. There you go. I should be getting power now. Is it getting power? Yeah, that's getting power. Excellent. Right, let's plug in any holes. Um, all we're going to do now is put the water in. Perfect. Right. Next stage is to grow the crystals themselves, and this is going to be the long process as we can't put any of these crystals into the transmutation table so we're gonna have to do this all manually now the crystals we're after are called Certus Quartz crystals because we want to make the formation core of course so let's have a look at the recipe for the item we're gonna make which is going to be storage bus which is down here there it is so we need to make a ME interface which of course uses annihilation and formation cores now the formation cores use certus course crystal now to make one of these guys let's get on the right one we've got to either well, the alloy smelter recipe doesn't work, as it won't go in the machine. So what we're going to do is find the recipe that allows me to grow them. So it's not that one. There is a seed here somewhere. So let's see if I can find that now. I'll have to type it in here, I think. Let's see, seeds. So we want the Certus Quartz or the Nether Quartz and then we got a Flux Seed as well. So we want Certus Quartz. Now to make that it's one sand and a Certus Quartz dust. Now you can get these dusts from the Sagmal I believe. So we're going to need some Quartz for this. There we go, and I've already added into the transmutation table, but I'm just showing you. Because to start off, we've got to make one. So there was throw one of them in there. I think that was the right one to put it in. There you go, you've got your Certus Quartz Dust. 
And what you need is a bit of sand. Let's just throw that in there a second. So what I want is some sand. What I'm going to do then is just come over here and throw in the seed. Now to make the seed, first of all, you've got to do that. So that gives me two of them. And just throw them in there. Now we've got to make sure my thing is disabled. So I haven't got any room seconds. So if I use shift to crouch, let's throw them in there a second. Now these should take a few minutes to cook up. And once you've done that, you should have your crystal. So let's come back when they've completed. Well, I finished off all those crystals and I placed a load in my chest there. But we're going to need about... Let's have a look here now. So we've got 40, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65. So we need about 67 really. And how many have we got in there? Three stacks. So we've got plenty of that to go around. However, we've got another problem. If we pop over here now. Now, I want to connect these cables up the top here so I'm probably going to have to move that platform I created slightly out. Let's go and have a look at that quickly. So this platform here I'm going to have to move out a little bit and I'll show you why now. So let me just dig through here. So let's just pop down here a second. Let's uh, cover the hole because I can easily get back down. So, these cables here, I want this top area here exposed so we can get at the wires, but you may notice that I can't get at the barrels on the sides. And there's a reason for that, as, the, as these cables require channels, I'm going to have to bring them up to the middle. Um, what I plan to do is put most of my AE system right in the middle by here and have these pipes connected into that. So I'm going to have to get some controllers and so on. So let me go and grab some of them now. Right, so what I want to do is get a ring of the controllers in here. So let's have a look here now. We need... How are we going to wire this up? So in the middle of here is right there. So let's put one of them down for now. And the other side should be alright over here. Let's see now. Ah, there's the middle. Uh, we need another middle bit here. So where is the middle for that? Let's have a look here. Yeah, I'm probably just going to have to strip away some of this and make things a lot easier for reference and I can always tidy up later on. Okay, so what we want to do is find the roughly the middle. Three, four, five. So it's that one there. And that one there. So that's going to be the middle as is equal. And these can only go in a 7x7, seven seven, so let's temporarily do that. So that's 4. So let's do, yeah, 6 will be right. So let's raise that up 1. So 6. Let's do it like that. And I think that should do it. Let's have a look at that now. Yeah, it looks alright. So let me just finish this off now. So, E4, 5. So we'll place them on top of these blocks here. It looks like a good, really good spot actually. So let me grab my spanner. Let's get rid of these guys now. And this. 
be where I wire my cable into. There you go, perfect. So what I'm going to do is get some other type of wire, bring this up, connect it up to these controllers here. Let's just finish this off. I just want to test to see if it's in the correct configuration. It's not necessarily going to be where the cables are going to be. Right, so... Is that working? Ah, right, yeah, it's not working because we've got another controller down there, so let's get rid of that. Second, we just wait for that to reset, and uh, it's not resetting. Ooh, problems all around here. So we've got another controller down here, and we that's why. Let's just get rid of that one and rewire that with a cable, just like that. We want to get rid of now oh, something's gone wrong with that there, so let me just go into the configuration a second. So what we want to do is look for that bit there. Output and uh, just try and find out output, that's the one. So we want the power to come out from there, but for some reason that's not working correctly. So best way of doing this is just to get rid of it. Let's get rid of some of that second. Right, put it back and it's still doing it. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Oh well, <laughs> let's get back up top. But I think you get the general idea of what I'm trying to do here. Let's dismantle that. Uh, yeah, so the power's not going through there. I'll have to work on that. So as you can see, I've got lots of work to do. And um, we'll put another lot over there. I don't know whether we can put controls over here. So I'm going to go and do those few things. So. What I gotta do is extend that over and connect all these cables into this controller. And when we'll come back, I'll probably have done that all done. And the cables I'm gonna use are I need to make some dense cables which require some of that and any covered cables which use some wool. So it's not that expensive really, so I'm going to go away now and do a hell of a lot of work around here. Get all these stripped out and wire it all up and I'll show you the finished article in a few moments. Well, we've more or less finished the sorting system now, so let's go and have a look what I did do above. i still got to do this side, but we'll finish it off by next episode. But let's show you this side here, and you may notice I've made a few little changes here with the lights there, here and there. Just trying to make things look a little nicer. So let's go and have a look how this sorting system is set up up here now. So I made myself a little walkway around here. So let's get up here now. And there we go, we use all our cables the way I've set it up. So I've just added these dense cables on top of the smart cables. And uh, if you look there, it's got 20 channels and there's 20 storage buses on the back of each one of these. And the same over this side here. Now the only problem I noticed is when I log out and log in, some of the channels get lost, so I've just got to manually take this out and then put it back in unless that's just a visual bug I don't know there you go 20 channels 
And the same over this side. Now we've got we've got 18 channels over this side, and the reason why that differs is because I've got one from the input chest number there. The rest are from these barrels, and we've got one, well, two by here on this inscriber. Now I've set this up so that it will insert some printed silicon, and on the top we've got a setup for redstone. So when you put in these, oh, I can't quite get at it. So when you place these printed logic circuits in here, so let me just show you that now. As you can only place one at a time, it should go through. No, oh, that's already been printed, is it? Why would it not work then? Now oh, that should work. But it's really slow, so we've got to work on that. And just as I go to show you, it doesn't want to work for some reason. Oh, that's strange. Okay, I don't know why that's not working. So I should be doing it like that. So something's up with that. I haven't got a clue what. No, it's definitely not working. Uh, unless we've lost power somehow. But there should be loads of power. Go oh yeah, we've lost power. We have. Uh, I knew that. So we could put. A we've got some power issues there as well. So let me go down and check on the battery. Yeah, that's out of power, so that's why. So let me grab some sleep, and that should fix up that issue. You can only sleep at night. Yep, okay, we've made mistakes, but never mind. Once this has got power, it does actually work, honest. So let me grab a bit of coal and do it the old-fashioned way for now. Let's grab up seven of them. Yeah, so we've got to come up with some other power solutions there as well. So let me go up now. Right, should be working now. Let me try that again. So if I throw in a circuit, it should go through. There we go, perfect. Of course, it only works when you've got power. So anyway, that's all set up, working great. And all I gotta do is do mirror it over that side. And I won't need this chest here then. I can get rid of that. And we'll put something else there. I'm not too sure what yet, but I'm sure we'll find something to put there. But the inputs are working great, so gunpowder. Why isn't that going through? It's probably because there's no power. So let me just repeat that again. Yeah, there's a few technical issues here. I don't know why that's not working. Let's go over and check. Maybe we haven't gotten the power yet again. So let me go over there and see if the channels are still working. Yeah, I think it's a power issue, really. So we've got a few things to work on the power. So anyway, that's our sorting system using AE2 and Jabba barrels all set up. And next time we'll finish off that side and get some more power again. So I hope you enjoy watching, everyone. And I will catch you all next episode.